I am going to show you today how to make a shakshuka. If you have two main ingredients, you can do it in under 15 minutes. What you need to do first for this recipe is to slice the onions thinly as well as the red peppers. As you know, I am using this knife that I really, really like that makes very thin strips of red pepper. You slice some cilantro. This is a trick if you want to keep fresh herbs longer. What I do is I, for example, with this coriander, I put the coriander and I wrap it inside um, cling film. I'm trying to just, you try to just make it, you don't want any air in it, so you try to really wrap it really tight and you will be able to keep it for up to three, three days, three to four days in the fridge. So this, in a pan, add two tablespoons of olive oil and start by cooking the onions. You don't want them to burn, but you want them to be a little bit cooked and if they burn a little bit, it does not matter. Once they start to be a little bit more soft, you will add the red pepper and then you mix it. Add now the most important, which are the spices. I am using this wonderful harissa. This is a paste that you can find pretty much everywhere, I think. It's like in, in, in normal supermarkets. I know in France it's easy to find, here in Spain it was as well, so I, I, I believe it's easy to find if you look for it in the supermarket. And the other one, which I found, which is called Raz Alanud. This is a great spice as well, and it has a little bit of anise seed to it. It just tastes really wonderful. So, because shakshuka is in itself just, just cooked vegetables, but what is important is the spices that you add to it. That's what will make your dish and will make it really, really delicious. Let them cook a little bit, two, three minutes, then add the tomato sauce. These are crushed tomatoes. Put all of it in there and then you have to let it cook because you want your red pepper to be cooked and to be to be soft. I find that the eggs take a very long time to cook for me. So I've decided to do my shakshuka with poached eggs. So really, once you've done the shakshuka, it's like 15 minutes, it's kind of done, 15, 20 minutes, it's done. In the meantime, you can cook your, your poached eggs and then put it, like I am showing you, on top of it. For a wonderful meal, I'm sure you are going to love it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week for another one. Bye bye.